Sumail P. Seren. Actually, uh, the case uh, is this X ray KB. You see here, the radio opaque shadow is nicely seen. Are you able to see, sir, without reflection of light? There is a little bit of reflection. Can we yes. zoom in a little more? More zoom? Is it okay, sir? Yeah, better. There is one stone here and one more stone. As far as possible, we try to yes, not touch the kidney, just evacuate This is the spot. case which I am doing point. today. The this is the pelvic stone, contrast CT this is, plain CT is not available. If you see the colon, it is very close to the paraspinal region. This is almost like a retrorenal colon. I have to go, I have to turn the patient a little bit more medially and then puncture below the uh, even 12th rib, when 12th rib is coming. More posterior. So ultrasound will help me a lot. That ultrasound video we want to play one minute so that we can go to the RGP and then puncture. Can we play ultrasound audio visual team? Uh, Dr. Chandra Mohan. Sir. Do you have the ultrasound available in the OR? No sir. I, I cannot shift. I have taken permission but because radiologist is not available. The room is locked. With lot of difficulty I have taken to the patient downstairs. So. Yeah. Okay. I am using the there is column at this level also. Uh, this is a column. Yes, sir. This is the kidney. See, you have to puncture here, here, here. Can you see here? You have to turn fully. Like a prone. This, this is a stone which is in the posterior calyx. Yes, sir. That, that, that's a that's a stone exactly in this region. See, this is communicating, and if you turn, that that is a stone, and one more stone is there on the the more posterior you do. This is a full view of the kidney. Full view of the kidney. Full view of the kidney. You show here where it is coming. Can you see the stone shadow finger? Here. Yeah, that below, below one, below that. That is a stone. That yes. that is a stone in the pelvis. Shadow is coming. Uh, shadow is coming. Here there is no. So exactly you come here. Here, paraspinal region almost. This is a twelfth rib, we'll and mark. this is the this is the uh, here. Here I have to. Here, can you see? Yes. Sir. That calyx, uh, preferably from the lower calyx, is vertically going. Lower calyx, anato. See, if you come here, colon is there. So that's the colon. Yes, sir. Yes. So this level also colon is there. So in this level, colon. So almost we have to go paraspinal. See, there, here. Yes. When we're going up, colon is there. Oh. So if you press here, see, colon colon should, you should keep it like this ideally. This is the correct way. This is the correct way. Maximum cupping when it comes, see. Maximum cupping when it comes, sir. I will see under puncture. I got the last loss of resistance and uh, I will address the needle. See, it's already water is coming. It is put to the line from below. Water has come. That's all. That's all. So, 2 cm margin, thin patient, horizontal puncture. In fact, uh, I should not experiment. I can puncture inferior, I can puncture upper, middle, I can puncture upper. Then, where is the restriction? This quality anyway might have come even in pro. Now, this is posterior puncture. Dr. Chandra Mohan, we are with you. Yes, sir. Uh, if you see here, you can see the little more posterior calyx. This is one calyx. It is not bleeding. See, this is the edge of the, uh, this is a short calyx. So, I don't want to come out and spoil my view. This is a small stone. Uh, after finishing that, I will go to the pelvis. The good advantage is that you can go into the, uh, you can go into the upper calyx bifid also in supine p -CNL. You can go into the uh, ureter also in supine PCR because it's a horizontal puncture. There is no verti verticality here. He is flushing gently water because it is at the end of the calyx, uh, not much bleeding to my fortunate. And uh, I am using 2.5 joules 
fragmentation mode 10 Hz thulium. See, it is trying to come out. Even forceps definitely not used in these cases because by, by gravity it will drain. Do you find a uh, benefit of uh, holmium or thulium laser over pneumatic or shock pulse kind of lithotriptors in conventional size PCNLs? Uh, no sir, I, I am strongly for uh, 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 for the pneumatic lithotriptor. Today I was asked to demonstrate thulium again and again. So I am putting that. But a uh, lot of people uh, literature says that lot of papers are coming on the large volume uh, by margin sir paper also has come mini perk uh, thulium fiber laser. Uh, if you so initial part it looks it will not it will take long time but as the stone gets fragmented suddenly stone disappears. So uh, laser definitely uh, in our unit uh, Dr. Siddhartha Swami is doing he says that lot of less pain is there when laser is used I cannot uh, argue on that but uh, uh, fragments, uh, fragmentation mode. You should not make powder. If you make powder, then they, then you are doing uh, uh, silent clicks. Silent. For me, silent clicks. Slowly. See on. See on. Continue record. See on. Push. Take it out. Take it out. I'm plus. Take it out. 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 Yes. That is the picture.